I'm Chris Lutz with Verge Aero, and today we're in Lake Havasu City, Arizona at the Western Winter Blast. My name is Joel Robinson. I am the Director of Customer Success with Verge Aero, and I will be the pilot in command for the Grand Public Display. We are flying 590 drones. 90 of them include pyrotechnics. With a Back to the Future theme, it should be pretty epic. My name is Tony Samaritano. I'm a co-founder of Verge Aero. We've developed and now released our first pyro drone specific product. And that's a module that's very tightly integrated into the X1. One of the reasons why we really needed to do this was all because of safety. If you use a third party module, the drone isn't talking to the module, the module's not talking to the drone. And that's a really big logistical problem. If the drone were to fail safe for any reason, you want that drone to just tell the module to disarm. So we created a module that plugs into the drone and the drone is able to directly communicate to that module. Anything that's safety related where the module needs to disarm, it can do that. We don't need to carry an extra battery around. So that saves weight. That means you can load more pyro payload onto the drone itself. And then and the best part about it is everything is tightly integrated. So in the design studio, you can actually program the pyro cues and you know that within the millisecond, you'll be able to fire the exact pyro payload with the choreography. Safety is our number one goal. And we believe that the only way to really create the best and safest drone light show system is that full top to bottom vertical integration. It's a total vertical integration of every part, start to finish. We manufacture the drone from ground up. Our design studio, our engineers, our flight control system, no third party software from another country. The pyro module designed in house by us to make sure that it's the safest system that you can put on a drone, bar none. The pyro module itself is another piece of this puzzle. It is designed to do what is necessary to make the pilot and the pyrotechnician's life easy, and then from an audience perspective, make these shows spectacular and safe at the same time. And Verge Aero is the only one that's supplying that right now. Verge Aero is a drone technology company, but we are lucky enough to work with some of the best pyrotechnicians in the world, and including licensed pyrotechnicians that we have on staff, to really create a pyro-first product. I'm a professional fireworks exhibitor and have been for 20 years. There's a couple of us here that have pyro backgrounds, and we use the NFPA standards for firing systems and developing the module completely integrated within the drone itself. Right here we have our 90 pyro drones. They have between three and four effects, gold gerbs and silver gerbs, some red mines, cracker mines going throughout the show. When you're trying to design a drone show that has pyrotechnics, obviously you need the visualization. So we've already built that into the Verge Aero Design Studio where you have a specific product list and you're able to fire those and actually see what it's going to look like in that environment. And another important note about the design studio, it's doing all the safety checks as you go. So you're doing it while you're designing it, you're rendering it, checking again, and when you export it to the show file, it does it a third time. So there's all these checks from the minute you start designing to the minute the pilot takes control of the show. It's as safe as can be of any system out there because of the integration with the design studio. One of the best things about our integrated solution is the safety aspect. If a drone detects a problem during flight, it can self-disable itself to ensure that that drone will not be firing any pyrotechnics. It's rare, but you'll see a drone auto land, and it could happen anywhere in the show. Now, with other systems, that's a pyro drone. You have to figure out which drone that is live and try and disarm just that pyro drone. With our system, we don't have to worry about that. You don't have to know drone 698 is Q32 and shot six going off, it knows it for you. And if there's a system problem, it will automatically disable that drone with that pyro and keep the rest of the show running. So as a pilot, it makes my job really, really easy. I know that if a drone is fail safing, I don't need to struggle and turn off all the pyro and lose the entire pyro effect because I can identify which drone is auto landing. To me, more importantly, it opens up a bunch of creative abilities. Because if you want to do something simple, like comments all around the circle in one big sweep, well, if you were to do that with another system, you need to know what that module number is, where that drone's going to be, and then where in the launch pad you need to put that specific drone. With the Verge Aero Pyro module, though, it takes that all out. Because that drone knows where it is, 
it will fire and do that chase perfectly without any extra coordination. There are some really unique pyro moments in here we've tried to incorporate to the show. The DeLorean, the 88, right? That one's gonna have some pyro effects on it. The lightning strike hitting the clock tower, there'll be some pyro in that as well. And we have a couple other places that we got creative with pyro too. All of them took off. One of them auto-landed shortly after takeoff, which basically means it detected a problem, decided to land itself. And the important thing is, is when that happened, it disabled the pyro, so the pyro did not fire on that drone. On all the other pyro drones, we had 100% fire. Couldn't ask for a better show. Drone light shows and pyrotechnics are like milk and cookies. They just are meant to be together. And that's kind of how we've really grown this company, is by working with the best in the world in pyrotechnics. As Verge, we are excited about where this technology continues to head so that we have the drone that's the safest, the firing system that's the safest, and ultimately the event and spectators can have an awesome, safe time watching drones, pyro drones, and fireworks together. The future is just very bright.